At the end of the last lesson, we went over the HTML that makes up the menu on the page. Now we're going to take a look at how we can use the hover pseudo selector to augment the functionality of this. Maybe we can liven it up a little bit. I'm going to say dot link colon hover. Now this rule is only going to apply when I'm hovering over one of my link items. One very important thing to note is that when you're typing colon hover, you need to type link colon hover, not link space colon hover. This selector right here is entirely different. So you want to make sure that colon hover is butting up against the element that you're talking about. I'm going to add a padding left of five pixels. Now you'll notice when I go over here and refresh, nothing changes. That is, nothing changes until I mouse over one of the links. When I mouse over one of the links, padding left is applied to the link, because that's what my selector is saying. So let's give it a try. Looks good. Now let's take this a step further. With the kinds of drop down menus we're going to be focusing on, typically the sub menus here are hidden until you mouse over their parent, hence the term drop down menus. The sub menu drops down from the original element. Now, again, we're not going to worry too much about this looking really pretty, but we are going to implement this. Basically, we want to make this sub links item not visible by default. We can do that with display none. So if I go up here to sub links, I can say display none. Now when I refresh, you'll notice, poof, it's gone. Now, if I open up the WebKit inspector here, right click inspect element, you'll notice it's actually still there, right there. It's just not visible. So what we need to do is we need to find some way to make this appear when we hover over the link element. So let's write a CSS selector to make that happen. We're going to say dot link colon hover because we're talking about something happening when you mouse over this item. So we're going to say when you mouse over this item five or any link for that matter, do something. Now, if we do this selector, we have what we had before. It's going to do the something to the link. We want it to do the something to the sublinks element. So we can say dot link colon hover dot sublinks. Now this selector is actually targeting the sublinks element, but only when we're hovering over the dot link. Pretty cool, huh? Now let's tie it together by saying, hey, when you hover over the link, we're going to say display block. Let's go refresh, see how that works. Beautiful.